don't agree with this. If it can never be justified, how is it subjective? No, they're wrong that it can never be justified. Oh, oh, okay. So how can you justify it then? How do you get around that it's objective? It's that everyone knows that it's it, it can't be justified. Well, that's just begging the question. It, it, you're saying there's a morally acceptable reason for torturing an infant for pleasure. Yeah. I, I what pleasure. would that be? Pleasure. That's for pleasure? Point. Yeah. How does that make it morally justifiable? Because whatever is pleasurable is good. Okay, so here's the thing. When somebody does that, uh, try to skirt the, the fact that we observe that this is an objective moral value, you essentially make yourself out to be a psychopath. Yeah, I don't agree. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, go ahead. Yeah, you got this, man. Yeah, that's a, an objection. Now, see, that's what the atheist has to do to deny the objective moral values and duties that exist. They have to make themselves into a psychopath. Well, you could think that on theism, too. Uh, well, well, I just uh, proved it. Well, you know, I'm just you know, somebody who just said I can justify it's acceptable to torture an infant for pleasure. Yeah, but you could think well, that that's, on that's what we would call yeah, a psychopath. You could, yeah, but you could think that on theism too. You could think that God ordains the the pursuance of pleasure, it, and so it, one of the things that that's not the question. Pleasure, that's a naturalistic fallacy, Josh. That that's violates not the theism. Not, not only the, that. Sorry, I'm that's not, not the question. Whether or not somebody else can justify it for their reason, what I would say if they, if, if, I would say if they think they can do it, then they make themselves into a psychopath too. I'm only pointing out that the atheist makes themselves into a psychopath in order to argue against it's, the. I'm, the just saying, that nothing, I'm just saying that there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing that uh, an athe a theist could appeal to that an atheist couldn't, right? I've already demonstrated you have to make yourself a psychopath to argue against objective moral values and duties. I mean, I, I don't even know, I don't even grant that, uh, that you've established psychopathy, right? I, I just did. What's the you argument? Just, because uh, isn't it true that any psychologist in the world would, would, not, would say that somebody who thinks it's morally acceptable, it's acceptable to torture an infant for pleasure, is an, uh, somebody who's psychologically abnormal they would be psychopathic. Isn't that true? Yes, it's obviously true. There well, is no psychologist well, in the world that well, would not say the, there's something mentally wrong with someone. Well, where's the statistics? You know, and so I've, I've only, I just wanted to prove my point. Well, you made a statistical to claim. To argue against that, you have to make yourself a Well, you made a statistical claim, and the, and the claim is of 100% of psychologists. So it just seems like you need to have interviewed 100% of psychologists and gotten all of their answers. But I don't think that you've done that. No, so, that, that's an absurd requirement. We just I, agree. I think you make a claim. That's, a, that's, the, burden, that's the burden of that's proof true. for the claim that you no. made. <laughs> No, that's yeah, I think I think you know, now here what you're doing is is you're separating yourself from reality by saying uh, by saying it, it's not true that 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 psychologists would universally agree that somebody who thinks that way is, is a psychopath, and so you've separated yourself from reality just one more step in order to. If you're making the claim that a hundred percent of psychologists do this, you just need the evidence. Just give me the evidence. Common sense. You don't need to go human, to the statistics. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to do that. Not evidence, bro. Uh, I, I, I don't need to do agree. that. Everybody I with common sense that, understands so well, what I, I said. Whatever, that's, that's fine. So you have to abandon well, common sense as well. A hundred percent of psychologists would also probably agree that believing in imaginary friends as an adult also makes you a psychopath. Doesn't matter. I made my point. My point's valid. Well, I just made my point. Well, so you have to separate yourself from reality to make yours. I don't. Okay, but I don't. Look, I, I don't, don't understand. understand. Like, hold on. I, I just don't understand, right? I'm gonna like, go get something to eat. I'll be back. In a minute. Okay, run Think away. about what I've said. But when you have to appeal to such outrageous claims as you have to have interviewed every psychologist on the planet, you've just stepped away from reality, sport. Well, I'll you do. Back. You made the claim. So, in order yeah, this to, man will not back up his claim, his in order to support your claim, claim. That, yeah, in order to support your claim that 100 percent of psychologists think something. You have to have reasonable access to what 100% of psychologists believe. Or maybe you should just make a point without it being just an appeal to popularity in the first place. Did you hear what Shamo said, though, Josh? He was like, Josh, bro, you're committing a naturalistic fallacy. And the whole point that you were trying to make was that you could, you could, you could, you could, you could uh, follow the same line of reasoning that he was providing on theism. <laughs> 